Hi, this is Michael Orl from MobileBurn.com. Today I have with me the HTC Arrive. It is the first CDMA-powered Windows Phone 7 device. This one's for Sprint. It'll be available on March 20th for $199.99. It also includes the Nodo update in it that we've been waiting for. This is the copy-paste update for Windows Phone 7. So we'll take a look at that. The biggest feature that people want to see in this Nodo update is the copy and paste functionality. So I'm just going to start typing in some text here. This is some text. This is more. Let's move this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is tap on a word to automatically select it. I'm going to drag the little controls left and right. And you can see I can drag them to multiple different lines too, but I'm just going to get that one section here. And right there, that little icon that pops up lets me copy it, which point I can place the cursor somewhere. Long press on the screen to uh, bring up the cursor control. And I'm going to do it there. And this little icon down here at the bottom means I can paste. And so there I have it. I've just moved it, edited it around a bit. Now that was a copy, not a cut there. So There's only a copy functionality right here, but I should be able to hit the back button to delete the selected text if I wanted to get rid of it. And again, long press somewhere, drag the cursor. Very easy to do. Works pretty well. Still in certain applications you can't copy particular pieces of text. Um, for example, looking at this message here, I can't just select text here. I can long press and copy the entire message though. And then when I go back to Google Mail, I could paste it back in again. Right here I have an LG Optimus 7. To, uh, I'm meaning to show you one of the biggest complaints I had with Windows Phone 7. Notice when I do a search in the marketplace for Seymour, I get an artist, I get an album, I get songs, and I also get an application. And this happened no matter what part of the marketplace you were in. Even if you were in a category specific to games, it would still end up showing you artists and albums and things like that. Now with the Nodo update, you can still get something along those lines. And as I was right there in the marketplace, I'm going to search on Seymour again. And you'll see everything come up, you know, mix and match. But notice when I go into the apps section, and I do a search again, it says apps and games search. So it's no longer searching through music. Now when I search on Seymour, I get just the application I was looking for. One of the other features that Microsoft's been touting for Nodo has been faster application loading and resuming. And I haven't quite seen that to be the case. Uh, HTC Arrive seems to be a little bit faster than the LG most of the time, but not always. And I ran some games trying to test things with uh, larger, larger loads, and everything came out to be pretty much exactly the same, sometimes in the LG's favor, sometimes in uh, Nodo's favor on the Arrive. You can see most of the time we're seeing a slight speed improvement on the HTC Arrive. Uh, it's fairly insignificant though. It's a, only a, a second or two at best. So that's a quick look at some of the new features in the Microsoft Windows Phone 7 Nodo update, including the copy and paste functionality. I'm Michael Orl for MobileBurn.com.